Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adding and subtracting fractions. And we'll do it specifically by using estimation and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we have a simple word problem. Jerome bought a family sized bag of Doritos. He ate one fifth of the bag, so that's going to be important. His older brother ate four sevenths of the bag. About how much of the bag is left? So our word about, that's going to connect with this estimation right here. So this about lets us know that we don't need the exact answer. Because in fourth grade, you haven't yet learned how to add or subtract fractions with unlike denominators. But if we have an about, that means we can use estimation. So what we're going to use are we're going to use benchmark fractions. Because benchmark fractions are easy to add and subtract. And those are fractions um, that are close to a lot of other fractions. So your basic benchmark fractions are going to be zero, like if we have nothing, one fourth, sometimes called one quarter, one half, three quarters, and then one. Now here's the thing, zero can look like a lot of different things. It can look like zero halves, it can look like zero fourths, anything with a zero as a numerator. One fourth can, we can have that as an equivalent fraction of two eighths. We can have that as an equivalent fraction of three twelfths. So we're gonna be looking for fractions that are kind of close to that. Half, there's a lot of fractions that are equal to half. Two fourths, three sixths, so on. Same with three fourths, six eighths. And then we also have nine twelfths. And then anything that's equal to one has the same numerator and denominator, two halves, three thirds, so on and so forth. And so let's take a look at this one fifth. So if I wanted to draw this one fifth, I draw it like this. You see that my one fifth, I don't really have a whole lot there. And so is it going to be closer to zero? Is it going to be closer to one fourth? Is it going to be closer to one half or three fourths? Well, if I were to say that half is right here, it is definitely less than half. And if I were to try to draw a, a fractional strip that's kind of the same, and if I were to try to make my one fourth, you can see that one fifth is actually kind of close to one fourth. It's a little bit smaller than one fourth. So I'm going to say this, I'm going to say one fifth, and we're going to say is about one fourth. So let's replace that. Now let's look at four sevenths. Four sevenths, that's going to be kind of a harder one to draw. So if I wanted to draw a fractional strip that was four sevenths, two, three, four, five, I have to draw six lines in the middle, and I have to shade in four of the spaces. One, two, three, four. So you notice that my halfway mark is right about here. Half of seven is actually three and a half. So if I were to see, how is that in relation to half? You see that my four sevenths is really close. It's just a little, a little bit more than a half. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say four sevenths is about one half. See, now I could use this. So Jerome, so let's put Jerome over here. Let's say Jerome, he ate about, I'm going to put one fourth. His older brother, I'm going to make him a little bit bigger. Big brother ate about one half. Well, I can add one fourth and one half because if I were to draw something like this, cut into fourths, Jerome ate this much, his big brother ate this much. Because remember, one half is the same as two fourths. So if I wanted to add one fourth and two fourths, that's about three fourths. So then the question is about how much is left? One whole bag minus three quarters that they ate is about one fourth.